Hey guys, welcome back. So in this lecture, what we will do, we will do the ADS layout optimization. And why we are doing optimization? Because in our last lecture, that is in lecture 14, we have come across to this result. And uh, this series of lecture or this problem was taken from lecture 11. There we have one question and we have solved that question and then we are sequentially doing the things. But if you are the people who just want to know the optimization process and don't want to know what the background is, for them just I am summarizing the things. We can we are designing a maximum gain amplifier and from our calculation we have seen that we, we can get up to 11.38 dB of gain. And we have achieved that also in our schematic design. But when we were simulating with our layout, we are getting the gain reduced to 11.19. So now we want to get the same gain or nearby that maximum gain, which is 11.38 using our layout also. And for that, the option we left with is the layout optimization. So today I'll do the layout optimization using ADS. So let's start. And for those who are new, uh, hello, myself Rasdeep. I'm an engineer at Intel and also I have did my master from IIT Delhi. So I have opened ADS and uh, let's do one thing. Uh, don't disturb this uh, hierarchy and we'll create one new folder for today's lecture. And for that, you need to go to new folder and let's give it name as layout optimization okay and what we will do we will copy this step to why step to step two has our layout so we will do a layout optimization so i'll copy this step two to this folder and paste so now in my layout uh, sorry in my layout optimization folder i have the step two and i have the layout so the simple thing is that we just need to parameterize this layout parameterize mean we will it have some length it have some width so we will so we will use the variables for its length and for its width but width we won't change because we directly dependent on your z0 or your characteristics impedance so we will not touch on width it would be fixed but we will try to optimize optimize the length to get the better result. So to do that thing, we just need to double click here and see. You will tell me like it is already optimized because I am not hard coding anything. It's a variable L1, but uh, it's actually hard coded. Why? Because if you just remember my last video, there I was uh, talking about layout uh, option 2 and I was generating the layout that time I was generating the layout from the schematic and in my schematic in my schematic see this fellow this uh, strip has a variable l1 and l1 is defined here perfect so actually this thing got hard coded here l1 is here and I am creating layout from this thing now so this l1 is actually got hard coded so what we need to do we need to define our own variable for this layout only one and only so for that we have some simple steps you need to go to em component and parameter and define your variable so how many variable we need we need four variable so we will give some different name not l1 l2 l4 because they might be get confusing so we will use a1 okay and nominal value we can put anything but uh, let's do one thing we will copy the value from our schematics only directly. So I'll open schematic in one side and I will open this in another side and I'll zoom it. So for A1 or our L1, it should be 6978.22. After that, your line is, unit is micrometer and in type we have another option. See. In type, we have first option is nominal or uh, perturbed or sub network. So, first option is for if you are 
free hand designing like you are designing this is a rectangle right and you are designing that rectangle free hand like you have not taking any standard cell and standard cell means like a t line micro strip line and we are actually designing this thing from this part and what approach we have taken uh, we have actually generated this layout directly from our schematic so if you do directly from your schematic then it will always be standard cells only so for this type of layout design for that it should be sub network your option should be sub network uh, default value we will take this one six nine point uh, let me type it here six nine seven eight point two two and my unit is micrometer and i'll click add so let me add another other three here quickly so we have added all the four variables here so we'll close it and we'll maximize it and then what i'll do i'll double click here and i will just assign it as a1 and one thing you need to note here uh, we do this mistake every time we has we have already decided that a1 is in micrometer and if i give again micrometer as then what will happen micrometer into micrometer it will be minus 12 so if i click apply you see it gone because minus 10 to the power minus 1 2 is very small so you just give uh, your unit only one place okay so take this thing in mind it is common mistake we uh, tend to do many time for this i'll choose a2 and our unit should be none and okay for this it should be a3 unit should be none and for the last one a4 and unit should be none is always already selected okay so i have defined all the length of all the four strips to a variable then and one thing you can notice here i have some uh, rectangular strips here they are nothing but they are your mesh your uh, em simulation mesh which is coming because in our last lecture we did already the em simulation you can clear them or you can't uh, you don't clear them this is optional it won't uh, affect your result but still if you want to clear those meshing then you just click em and then clear your mesh and then then it's perfect so now we have defined the variables so now what we need to do we need to do the em again so i'll simulate it again it's saying like i have already a em model you are overwriting it so i'll tell them yes overwrite it and they have overwritten it and they have got like database they are showing me this value a1 a2 all correct update database mm. they are again confirming and i'll click yes i think simulation is going on yeah simulation is going on and from our last lecture we know these results are of our no use because we have a gap here uh, don't save it we have a gap here and uh, with this gap the result won't be correct so we will just ignore the result and just a quick note uh, if you are seeing this video first time and you want to know a little background you can check uh, 13 for layout background uh, sorry 14 lecture 14 just previous lecture okay so this thing is done and now we need to create our symbol for creating our symbol we'll go to em and we'll go to component and we'll create symbol okay so it's done symbol is done we can uh, save this thing and we can close it from here uh, i can close it safely okay so our symbol is ready our step two version one because i have copied those things from here everything is ready now what I need to do, I need to have one schematic. So I'll go to here, new schematic and schematic let give its name as step 3. Create schematic. Sorry, it should be core simulation, but okay, let it be step 3 only, no issue. Then I'll choose this symbol. For choosing this symbol, you need to drag it to up to here. 
and it is here and now you can notice one thing see uh, why I was telling that previously we were not parameterizing the layout see we have the variable here now but if you compare with the previous cost simulation see in previous cost simulation we are only having x1 and they, no variables were there and the value are hard coded and they are feeded from this schematic our original schematic we have variables so they are getting hard coded from here to the layout but now we are not dependent on our schematic we have our own variables for our layout so now it will be very uh, like it is ideal to for us to optimize this thing so for optimization as we already know what the things we need so i'll just copy it from our schematic i also have a optimization full video if you want to recall your optimization how to do optimization in serenity you can see that video i'll link them all in the down description you can check those things okay i need a uh, substrate i don't need i'll delete it later wait yeah control c and control v sorry control v i also don't need the variables also i want to copy this npn box also and i got it here now i have everything for our work variable i don't need sub i don't need because the em simulation already had the subst substrate information so i'll delete it just i want now ter terminals so term g delete it. one term g, g and now connect them all for connecting control w where will come here and we will connect them as soon as possible done connection is done now uh, let's see once like what goal we are, we are trying to achieve so in our goal we are trying to achieve our s21 should be more than 11.31 it can't be more than but we want near about 11.31 so we are trying that to achieve and for that we have optimization and what we are trying to do 4000 iteration and 4000 is very big number for a layout because each time you are doing the optim uh, optimization it will go there it will change the length of your layout it will do the em simulation then it will give you the result em simulation is a, a hardware intensive job so 4000 will may take one day two day okay so what we will do for simplicity we will take 100 sample let's see if we can achieve the result i guess we can achieve it because we are deviating from our result 11.38 and 11.19 which we achieved in our last lecture was not so far so i think i think with 100 of sample of optimization we can achieve that one so let's try it so for everything is set hopefully and we can click here optimization and i guess we yeah we got one error and this is because what error we are we have not decided on on the optimization variable if you have seen my optimization video you know there are few steps steps one is this step two is you need to go to simulation you need to go your simulation variable setup and there also we have one common mistake and common mistake is see you have tuning you have optimization so you need to click on optimization tab but in in hurry what we do we just decide on variable on tuning and we'll try to do the optimization then again there will come so you need to take care of this thing you need to click on optimization and then you enable this variable i can customize this thing but now i'm not customizing it firstly i'll see if i can achieve it with the automated generated max and min value okay hopefully now no error will come and click and and yeah it started but i can't see the result here yeah result has arrived so it started and i guess it will take some handsome amount of time 15 to 20 minutes so i'll come back once it get done or we'll get some uh, good result
Hey, I am back and I think with 28 iteration we have achieved a good amount of result because you see your er error start from here and it got reduced and it got reduced and now error is very very small so I think uh, you can go on you can go on but uh, to save our time what I'll do I'll pause it and I'll see the result and it took around 7 8 minutes of our time so it's okay because it's running on a local computer and it's too extensive actually so I think it's good that in 8 minutes only we got the result so I'll click simulation and I'll see the result main part is now and add dv okay and then see the magic okay let me show you the magic from your nearby going to near to it see we have just doing s21 optimization and by that we got our s11 optimized too and they have the relation you know already so our aim was to get 11.38 but we have achieved 11.33 so i guess it's very good result and our s11 is also very good from compared to last result it is minus 21.9 if you forgot and your last result then this was your last result your last result was see uh, our uh, minus 16 not so good not so bad also and gain was also not so good not so bad but now we got a optimized result so we got our result and we are very happy so now we can go for our other steps and the last steps is to fabricate this and then shoulder your discrete device onto it and see the result in your physical vna so that part i can't do here because i don't have the lab so but still i'll explain you what's the process and if i have some samples which i had fabricated in my mtech i'll share you in my next video so please subscribe to my channel because i'll bring many interesting videos here and if you want to brush up your optimization skill like how to do optimization in uh, in more detail in ads then please see this video which will coming to your left side thanks for watching bye bye